Okay, in my travels, I'm sure if y'all watch my channel a lot, you know that I have a refrigerator freezer in the back of the Subaru. And a lot of times, my power packs go dead because if I'm off grid, I don't have electricity. So when my power pack runs down, I lose my refrigerator. So what I've decided to do, because I do live a lot of times off grid where I don't have electric. And then other than that, that's the only way I can charge my power pack to run my refrigerator so what I decided to do is put a panel on top of the car and that way the panel will run to a charge control the charge control will run to a battery and then my inverter will run off a battery and run my refrigerator so these are 200 watt 16 BB Bouge all these solar panels. The BB means bus bars. In other words, these little bars right here, I'll give you all a close up later. There's 16 of them from there to there. And they're half cells, so they'll charge this way and that way. The panels only weigh like 22 pounds. I mean, I can pick them up pretty easy. They're bifacial panels, so that means they'll absorb sun on both sides, but I won't be using angles on my car. I'm just gonna have them flat. So if I was using angles, I'd have them turned up like that and they'd get, you know, a whole lot, whole lot more sun. But even with them laying flat, I hooked them up to my portable power station and I was getting 155 watts, which is pretty good. And you know, I'll be getting sun as long as the sun's out. I mean, I won't be getting full power sun, but at least I'll be getting sun. So, um, yeah, let me show y'all how I plan on mounting them. I have to do two different ways I'm going to mount them. Uh, the first way, I'm getting ready to show y'all. The second way, I'll give you pictures of how I'm going to do it. But anyway, let me show you how I'm going to mount them. Okay, before I mount the panels, I want to spin them around and show y'all the back side of them, how you hook them up and everything. But these things are built very well, so you don't have to worry about them, you know, getting wet or getting hit by hail or whatever. I mean, you don't want a tree or anything to fall on, but they're built pretty sturdy. Good frame, like I said before. So let's spin around and show you how you hook them up. If I can pick them up, anybody can pick them up, that's for sure. Okay, see, hook them up just like you hook up regular panels. Right there. One piece male and one female, but that's all you do. And I'm going to use a real thin wire because I don't want to drill holes in my car. And the wires I use, I'm going to use 10 gauge cables on everything. The whole system is be 10 gauge. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that because, like I said, they're bifocal, so they'll charge from either side. And if I had a white car or something like that, if I had them sitting flat, they would also get sun, you know, reflecting off the car. But as you can see, I got a dark car. So, like I said, I got 150 from them laying flat. That's happy for me. So, they got these brackets on Amazon. And I got four corners and two side pieces. I'll slip that on the side. And this here goes on a corner just like that. And basically, and then you just have screws where you screw them into the panel so you got a screw there and a screw there and the way you mount these things on the car is you don't have to drill into your car roof or anything you just glue them on with a special glue right here and I got that on Amazon too so anyway let me show y'all how I'm going to do them I'm not going to exactly glue them down today so you got a nice flat area where you put the glue and then boop you stick it on the car and you're good to go I'm not going to glue them down today because I haven't completely decided exactly how I'm going to put it or if I have to shim it up because my car roof's not completely flat. So I might have to put some shims under it and I'll have to get my son-in-law to do that because he's a carpenter. So he'll have the wood and all about it. But let me uh, put them up there. Let me show you all how it's going to look. Okay, that's what it's going to look like on the top of my car. And as I said before, these two back shims, I'm probably going to have to put, these two back brackets, excuse me, I'm probably going to have to put shims up under them so it'll lay completely flat. Because as you can see, that would be completely flat. So I'm going to put shims right there under that, under the bracket right here. But as you see, it's a nice clean look. You look down through there. 
and uh, like I said they're bifocal so if you wanted to you could put them up at an angle and you get you know a whole lot more power but if I can get 150 like I got a power pack I'll be happy with 150 because that'll basically keep my refrigerator charged up so I'll go with that but here's a better view of this side here and same thing I'll have put shims up under here to, to bring that up tight to there so I can put the screws in there and that, that you, it comes with the screws too you put the screws there and that's what uh, connects the panel to the bracket and if that doesn't work I got some um, C clamps I'll go with and on a Subaru your rails you can turn them horizontal or vertical and if I turn them vertical I can use C clamps so either way I got it all worked out so this was step one let's go to step two now if that doesn't work I'm gonna go to these booze all be clamps right there I found them on Amazon so either way I got the situation taken care of but both these products booze all be and my charge controller which I'm gonna show y'all in a minute is also booze all be booze all be really they stand behind the products I've had a lot of dealings with the company so I was real picky about what I choose, but this is what I'm going with. So next thing's gonna be the charge controller. Okay, this is the um, charge controller that I'm going with. Once again, it's a Bouge RV product. It's a Bouge RV Sunflow 30 amp charge controller. And what this does, it controls the amount of power that you get from your solar panels into your battery. And that's real, that's a big thing because you got you don't want to overcharge your battery and burn your battery up so that's what a charge controller is for so basically the power from your panels goes to the charge controller from the charge controller it goes to your battery did i say that right from the um from the panels your power goes to your uh, charge controller and then from your charge controller it disperses it to your battery and your battery sends it to your inverter and your inverter turns it over to 120 and then you can run your refrigerator or whatever you're going to run um, it comes with a very in detail manual on how to do this thing I'm not no whiz kid but so it'll tell you every step you need to make how to set your your controller up and everything because I you know like I said, I'm not no whiz kid with this stuff, so y'all are kind of like learning like I'm, I'm learning as I go, but it tells you from where to get go what to do. It gives you everything right there, so you'll be like me, you'll be experimenting with it too, but I've been playing with it a little bit, and I have figured a few things out, like right here is where all your the action goes, where all your wires go, You what you do, you, you pop that piece off, and your power would come in here and you'd put the two wires your male and female wires in there and then it comes back out of your battery right there but and then the screws are on top but that'd be pretty simple to do setting the thing would be my problem but that's why i got the manual so yeah it's pretty cool and also let me uh, share one other thing with y'all the panels come with a detailed manual too i forgot to add it into you when I was outside but it explains everything to me let me open it up let me show you all a little bit of it it's kind of hard to do all this when you're trying to hold a camera and turn pages so anyway it gives you all the um, information on the panels it shows you different ways to hook them up okay there are the different ways you can hook the panels up but anyway yeah I mean this has all been an experience for me but okay this is gonna be a step-by-step -step um, video it's probably gonna be three parts because I'm having to research and learn as I go to build this uh, solar system on top of my car so today was the panels and the charge control and I guess tomorrow will be the battery and then from there will be the inverter and then I'll be done with it. but if y'all are learning as I am going through this I mean please subscribe I mean I hope you enjoy the video if you do that's great if you decide to put soul on your car, this would be a little bit more information to you go on. But I've had to start from scratch, but I guess you learn as you go. So anyway, y'all have a great one. Enjoy the day.